from Sal Sincata, and thanks for reading the uh, June issue, How I Got the Shot. And, uh, you know, let's talk about this session, if you will, a, a little more detail. Very difficult session for me, and I talked about this in LaunchPoint. Uh, kudos to all of you out there who do uh, baby photography as your core business day in and day out. It is a lot of work. Uh, I will take a crazy bride any day of, of the week. And I will tell you, Ben was absolutely amazing to work with. He fell once and he started crying and his, his cry was probably the most adorable thing ever because it was like no noise whatsoever. It was just a quiet cry. Uh, and you know, you start thinking like, yeah, we should have kids, like five. No, no kids, uh, not in my future. Uh, but here's the deal. Uh, in working with Ben, what we wanted to do for uh, the parents, who are personal friends of mine, was create something that had a little bit more stylized feel. And as you're reading the article, you'll see that we we got what I call the many faces of Benjamin. And you know, through the course of a shoot, right? My style of photography, I'm not going to put the baby in a basket and mold them into a flower, and that's just not my thing, right? You've got to find your style, your niche, what makes your studio stand out. For us, we are very much kind of like this just edgy, a little bit more fashion forward. And so what we wanted to do for this shoot is give it a little bit more of a fashion look. So we had this uh, incredible multi-light setup, right? We could have just set up, you know, one soft box, a strip bank and called it a day. I wanted to give Ben something that looked a little bit more fashion and then of course mix in with that wardrobe. And those are the things you should be trying to do. If you're just going out there and doing baby photography, you're going to look like every other studio out there. And this goes for any niche, right, right that you're in. What's the difference between you and every other competitor out there? And what I wanted to do again was try and create something that was somewhat unique, not only unique in the experience we're giving our clients, but unique in the way we're working with our clients, right? And that's the way we're lighting it, the way we're editing it. And this is one of those images that just looked incredible uh, in black and white because of the edit. And we followed, you know, Jill Greenberg is her name. Uh, she's got Googler, she's got tons of cool, she did like crying babies a few years ago. That was my inspiration. Uh, for the shoot and for the post-production of it. And by the way, if you wanna see how we edited this shot, make sure you're an Elite Plus member and we walk you through the Photoshop file of what we did to get that look. And there is a very distinctive look uh, to Ben. You may like it, you may not like it, and that's okay, you've gotta find your style. And so the key takeaways here are understanding that you have to define your style and what makes you and your studio unique. Ultimately, your value proposition. Now, I don't know much about babies, but when my clients come to me for baby photography, uh, they are looking for something that is very unique and stands out from every other baby shoot. And if you look in your local market, you see the same old thing over and over again. A baby, white background, sitting in a fake tub of uh, cotton, soap, like, Guys, what are we doing? That, that's not, to me, not what I want. That's not artistic. I don't want to be part of that. I want to find a way to just bring the personality of that child in, into the image. And, and I get it. When they're an infant, you know, the personality is still developing. But Ben very much did have a personality. And the three favorite pictures uh, that we have are showcased here. And it was a really tough decision to figure out which one we would put on the cover. Personally, my vote was the color image of him smiling. Uh, that was my favorite, but I got overruled by my team, which seems to be the case here uh, many, many times. You know, you would think I run the company, but not so much sometimes. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you want to see the behind the scenes, log into your Elite Plus account uh, on Behind the Shutter, and we'll walk you through that Photoshop layer. As always, get out there, do different things, uh, and, and use what you saw here for inspiration. Hope you enjoyed.